Welcome back. It's again Tuesday. This will be the third video for today. But I've been doing some really quick, easy stuff. So, no big deal. Um, I had a guy... There was a video that I wanted to do a while back, and I completely forgot to do it. And my brother, uh, Wes, and I were talking about it. And uh, it was about a month ago, three weeks ago or so. And um, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do a video on that. Because I told my buddy how to fix something. And I fucking forgot. So that's how it is. But anyway, I had a guy ask me on the channel today. He said, have you, uh, on the um, Cicada, the Sunrise Cicada All-in-One FC, which is the 30 amp BL Heli S ESC with an Omnibus F4 flight controller, have you had any problems with the 5 volt output? Because my 5 volt stuff only works if my USB is plugged in. I have used probably more of those cicadas than anybody on the planet. <laughs> I mean, I use a lot of them. But I did have one that did do that. And I had another flight controller. Uh, no, that wasn't mine. That was my buddy Wes's. I can't remember which one it was. CL Racing. And it was a CL Racing F4. And he had fucked it up. It wasn't the flight controller's fault. He did something. I can't remember what it was. I said, I can fix that for you. Do this, this, and this. Bam, send it in. I, as far as I know, it worked. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Let me grab a flight controller. Uh, yeah. Hang on. We're just going to grab one of the good old-fashioned standbys. A good old Omnibus F3. Okay? As far as I know, this actually works, but it looks pretty rough. Okay? So, that's okay. We're just using this for demonstration purposes. Now... If right here, this is the Omnibus F3, but this goes for any flight controller, not just this one, okay? If you see right here, here, and here, this is your S-Bus input, 5 volts, and ground. So these are all ground on the outside. These are all 5 volts on the inside. We call that the 5-volt rail, all right? What you can do, like in this case, okay... If you were to cut, like this right here is the 5 volt regulator, and on Omnibus F3s, those really suck. They overheat and they burn out, and usually I cut them just like that, all right? Then what I will do, but let's just say you didn't cut it, and that little chip burn out, and you have no 5 volts. You plug it into the USB port of your computer, and everything works fine, but as soon as you plug a battery in, bam, it's, it doesn't work. Here's what you can do, and I'm going to put a link in to this in the description of the video. This is a 5-volt buck regulator, and that is basically, it's like a back, which is battery eliminator circuit, okay? What you're going to do, and I'm not actually going to hook this up because you guys are smart enough to figure this out. I'm going to show you how this works, okay? Basically, all you've got, you got a little bit of guts you don't care about, but there's your potentiometer right there, Okay. And that little dude, I have a special screwdriver that I use, real tiny flat blade right there. And you can adjust that. And I can't even remember what my voltage output is on this. I think it's like from 12 to 3 volts, but don't quote me on that. Look in the description and it'll say it. But if you look at the bottom, you can buy a handful of these for about five bucks. And it's worth keeping in your toolbox, guys. So what you want to do is your inputs, notice it says input positive, input negative. That goes straight to your battery, all right? So if you're wired into, let's just grab a bird. All right, here's a bird. Here's a uh, Mocha Griff, and we've got our battery connection. Eh, that's a bad example, but anyway, it's right back there. You just tag two little wires back there, and bring, sorry, it's been a long day. Uh, bring those battery voltages negative in, positive in, okay? And you can solder them on this side. It doesn't matter. Then your output, what you want to do then is put your meter on DC, all right? Take your meter probes on your output side, okay? There's your outputs. And what you're going to do is you're going to put one here, one here. 
Now I don't have this hooked up obviously, but then while you're doing that, sometimes it helps to have extra hands around. All right, then you're gonna take this little screwdriver and you're gonna tune this potentiometer, okay, which is right here. You're gonna tune that until your meter says around five volts, which five, 5.1, whatever the case may be, that's fine. Then, once that is tuned to 5 volts, okay, put a little bit of hot glue over that pot, what we call potentiometer. Um, that's just a variable resistor, is all that is. So put a little bit of hot glue over that, and then you take your output. So your input wires are your battery, right? And I think these are safe up to like 6S. Look in the description. But I run 4S for the most part, so I, and I use these quite a bit on that. So uh, your 4, 4S input and your output now, since you tuned this, is going to be 5 volts. Now, take a negative, like a black wire and a red wire, and solder them into your outputs. Then bring them into your flight controller on any of this rail. These rails are all run in parallel. What that means is they're all connected symbiotically. All right. So if we go to continuity, right and we go I'm gonna zoom in on this so you guys can see it a little bit better all right your rail is all parallel so the inner rail is all positive so if I put one on positive here positive 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 and your negative 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 so any point and this goes like I said for any flight controller for the most part you bring those positive and negative five volts out of your buck regulator, buck module, sorry for those of you that can get anal on me, and bring them into any of the five volt positive and negative. So we could just take the negative right to here and the positive right to the center one, and that will feed the entire flight controller with five volts, and it works very, very well. So if you do, and I do that on drones or airplanes, you know, I put... Uh, flight omnibus in my wings and flight controllers and or I'm sorry fixed wings and flying wings and you never want to run servos off of the half amp 5 volt regulator so what I'll do is I'll just cut that sucker and I'll put one of these guys in there and I run my servos through the flight controller anyway and it works fine so if you have a flight controller that's dead to the world on the 5 volt side put in a buck regulator tune it to 5 volts or three volts if you're running spectrum if you need to run a receiver or something like that and bam you can give it a little bit of a pacemaker so hope that helps kids if you have any questions let me know uh it's so simple i don't think wiring it up would really be that big of a deal so bam keep the shine side up take care bye <laughs>